words, words, words. This one was super tough to swallow given the standings and where we are with the Hawks. It was kind of a survival of the fittest game with many, many injuries on both sides, losing our first fourth quarter lead of the season. Uh, and it really stinks because we were up 92 to 84 with about six minutes left and, and we just couldn't put the pedal down and finish it off. Um, but also you can go back to that disastrous start the fourth the first quarter we gave up 33 points we were down 24 to 7 and when you're playing uphill and you have to use that much energy uh, to get back sometimes in that fourth quarter things go a little haywire because of all that energy expended to get back in the lead and build a lead like we were able to do um, and that kind of reared its ugly head Bogdan Bogdanovich and Clint Capella were the ultimate enemies today for Atlanta Hawk, the Atlanta Hawks. And we were up 99-95 after the nastiest poster I've ever seen Miles Bridges put on Clint Capella, a major defender and shot blocker. Everybody was going insane. And I think I'm going to replay that a million times, even though we lost because it was just so insane. It might have been easier if we would have just taking a timeout, got our wits about us again, went back, played defense because uh, everything kind of sped up for us. And Bogdan Bogdanovich uh, channeled his inner ice tray and hit a massive three to uh, kind of settle things for the Hawks, 99-97. And they just made the plays. They got a 50-50 ball. Uh, they caused uh, some nice deflections. Bogdan did on the offensive end and a nice challenge. We were down 103-101, uh, got a little bit of a fast break, Terry Rozier tried to take a, a relocation three, nice uh, closeout by Bleef Solomon Hill. I thought uh, Terry got hit on it because he never misses one that bad, uh, a three, but good defense and he missed it. Um, you could have easily gone for the two with the small lineup, but going for the win and I trust Scary Terry and JB, it just didn't work out, and we couldn't get stops in that fourth quarter, a uh, 30-point fourth quarter and a 33-point first quarter for the Hawks, and that pretty much uh, spelled doom, and Lemon Pepper Lou Williams, being the veteran he is, handled the ball late in the ball game, put the Hawks in good position, and they made shots, and we just couldn't get things to fall. We were uh, late in that fourth quarter. Everything kind of sped up on us after that insane dunk. Um, but, you know, it happens, and you're not going to win them all in the fourth quarter. Orange has done an amazing job being clutch in the fourth quarter. This is just the one time we couldn't do it. Tip my cap to the Atlanta Hawks for uh, playing a heck of a ball game. And Clint Capella was going to be a problem for us all day because we always struggle on the boards. He had a massive double-double. And we, did, we didn't have as much balanced scoring as we typically have. Uh, Terry had 18, but struggled with his shot until the second half. Uh, De excuse me, Devontae had 16. Uh, Miles had 23 and 7. He just keeps on keeping on. Jalen only had 9. Brad Watermaker had 13. But there just wasn't enough punch and enough clutch shots made. Or driving, I thought we got a little too three happy in the first quarter, and some open looks in the fourth quarter just didn't fall, and that's sometimes how it happens uh, in NBA. It it's a tough one to swallow because it was at home. Uh, we battled back uh, from 17 down to a 10 point fourth quarter lead, just couldn't finish it off, uh, so it kind of stinks. But as always, Bud City All Fly, go Hornets.